What's good, YouTube? Nandrewer94 here to bring you another episode of Ass Anime Studio Simulator. In the last episode, you guys, we did a bunch of shit. Now we've got down to the in-between animation frames for our artists, etc., etc. We met with the voice talent. A lot of shit went down, and these are, like, both episodes that came before this one is roughly an hour, hour 30 minutes long. So without, with that being said, let's get straight into the game. So far, their work on, on the in-between animation frames has been superb. There's no reason to ask for updates. After what happened with Noshi Studios, hang on, she knows it's important to stay on top of things. She contacts them and they finish her. They inform her everything is going well. They should be able to finish up their work for mad on Mad Chemistry within the next two weeks. That's what she expected, but hearing it directly from them makes her feel much better. Worrying about details and keeping track of everything, I guess that's part of what it means being to be a director. Unfortunately, she doesn't have much else to do today, since everything's on track, nothing is lined up, lined up on her schedule. I'm gonna turn down the computer audio just a little bit so that it doesn't, like, kill your guys' ears, and so that the audio mixing doesn't get too tangled. Nothing is lined up on her schedule. Maybe I should help sh oops. Maybe I should help Shunsuke with this website for Mad Chemistry, but I might be more of a hindrance to him. She has ideas for the website's design, but he might already have better ones. After all, he's proven himself to be a reliable member of the team. You could can trust him to do a good job. Could I help Sumiko and Yuko? But since they're coloring the animation frames for Mad Chemistry, she's not sure she can help. Her artistic skills leave much to be desired. Maybe Mayumi needs my help. Mayumi is working on the OST and sound effects for Mad Chemistry. She seems to have things fairly well in hand, but additional opinions might be welcome. I suppose I could take the day off. Haha. <laughs> hmm. I don't want them flipping out on me. Yukari should probably just relax. Yukari walks around the studio, she cleans her desk, she reads a book, at last she gives up and settles back in her chair for a nap. And watch that fuck us over. To the point where we'll have to go back a couple panels. Yukari? Yukari jerks awake, huh? Yukari? I'm here. Poor you asleep. I didn't have anything to do. Well, the day's over. It's time to go home. You must have slept for hours. Oops. She laughs sheepishly as Mayumi shakes her head. She'll make up for it by working extra hard the rest of the week. On Thursday, Yukari heads to the recording studio in the morning to get the edited voice tracks for Mad Chemistry. And watch it be fucked. Feels strange to be in the studio without Mad Chemistry's voice actors there. Ah, Yukari. The voice tracks are ready. Great, any- were there any problems? None that I noticed, but you can preview the edit edited tracks before you leave if you wish. Okay, that sounds good. Good girl. Actually checking to make sure your shit's right. They sit down and listen to the full tracks for both episodes. Everything sounds fine to Yukari. She wishes they could have finished the animation first to watch the scenes while listening to the dialogue, but she's sure it'll be fine. The director gives her the audio files for both episodes. Is there anything else you need? Not as far as I know. Feel free to get in touch anytime. If anything comes up, you've been a good client to work with. Thanks. I've got the audio files for Mad Chemistry. Want to look them over, Mayumi? Definitely. She sets aside her current work and goes through the audio with Mayumi. This is perfect. See, Yukari? I knew you'd be fine. It was still stressful to handle it myself, but since everything worked out, I can't complain. Wow, do you smell that? What is that? It's amazing. Hello. Sumiko and Yuko stop. The sign behind the man announces the grand opening of a new cafe, and the delicious smells waft from inside the building. We're holding a special promotion to celebrate our grand opening. Would you like to try a sample from our breakfast menu? Yes, please. Those look moth. These look mouthwatering. Mmm, they're really delicious too. Come inside. There's plenty more on the menu. 
The two girls exchanged glances. After all, they're on their way to the studio. Hmm. Continue to work. Hey, you guys are here early. Good morning. Since you're here, can you help me tidy up the studio? Sumiko glances at Yuko and leans so close so she can whisper. We should have gone for that breakfast. Yuko gives her sister a sad nod, but it's too late now. They trudge forward to help Yukari clean. Yeah, you're only renting space. As promised, Yukari meet, visits the animation studio on Friday to meet with the director about the trailer. It's good to see you again, Yukari. Takashi is expecting you. I'll let him know who you're here. Okay. The receptionist leaves and returns a moment later with the director. Alright, let's talk about this trailer. Above all else, the trailer should be a tool to attract an audience for Mad Chemistry. It should be interesting and highlight Mad Chemistry's strong points without giving everything away. Right. I have a list of Mad Chemistry scenes, which should help us narrow it down. I already have a few ideas of how I'd like the trailer to go. Great, let's sit down and work it out then. They discuss the variation, various directions the trailer could take. He has many suggestions to offer based on his experience in the industry and recommends a three-act structure for the trailer to introduce the premise, show complications, and conclude with an exciting hook for Mad Chemistry. Yukuri decides to include a lot of humor in the tra trailer, but it won't be—it won't have all of Mad Chemistry's funniest moments, but enough to make the viewers laugh and highlight the humor style of everyone in the science club. The trailer will end with a, with a short romantic moment followed by a final gag to close it out. Great, let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. So, you know what I want in the trailer? He holds up his notebook where he wrote every scene she mentioned. Every scene. Even the ones that came up in the context of scenes not to use, or sections she changed her mind about. Yukari holds out her hand for the notebook and crosses out all the scenes she doesn't want. She makes a few more notes until the trailer is structured as clear and is clearly described. There. Perfect. And please, if there's anything you're unsure about, contact me. Don't worry, I will. Well, we finally worked out the details for the trailer. Yay! How are things here? Good, except Shunsuke is a spoil sport. I am not, I just have self-restraint. Oh, so I don't have self-restraint, huh? You said it, not me. Yukari stares at them as they argue and looks around for help. And it's been like this for a while now. What are they arguing about? I don't remember. Mayumi, do you remember? Hmm, it started after our lunch break. I think Sumiko accused Shunsuke of having a lousy lunch and no taste in dessert. But wasn't there something about shoes in there, too? Oh yeah, and the time travel debate. Yukari claps her hands together to get Sumiko and Shunsuke's attention and interrupt the argument. Okay, what's the problem? It's his fault. What is? What we're arguing about, which is, um, don't look at me. You mean you two don't remember either? Nope. Oh well, no hard feelings then. Indeed, no hard feelings. Seriously? Eh, at least they aren't arguing anymore. It's good to see everyone here this week. It's good to be here instead of spending Friday evening doing more work. What happened to we enjoy doing this? A mild stretch. We enjoy our work, skipping the weekly dinner together, not so much. But you know, it's not so bad to work overtime and stay late to finish things up. Speak for yourself. What do you mean, Yuko? It may not be enjoyable, but it ta it's taught me a lot. I've learned how t how I react when I'm up against deadlines, and I know how to cope with it better. It taught me a lot, namely how I ha how much I hate deadlines. From now on, I'm gonna get a head start on everything. Deadlines can definitely be stressful, but I see Yuko's point. I understand myself because of the obstacles we've had to overcome. And even though it's been a struggle, I have more confidence even now. Because we did overcome those obstacles, so we know what we're capable of. Sounds like making anime is a great learning experience. Ha ha ha. I wish I could contribute something philosophical to this conversation, but honestly, my learning has been more of a concrete nature. I'm a better writer now. Mad Chemistry is my first major original project. To having people critique it and offer suggestions. And I've just... S just seeing it brought to life as an anime has helped me improve. I'm with Shunsuke. I'd like to say that I've changed as a person, but with what I've nearly noticed, I'm better at composing music. I'm starting to develop my own style. Didn't you already have your own style? She shakes her head and laughs. 
I cringe when I listen to my old stuff. Half of it sounds like a knockoff of Madoka Magica. Is that one your favorite? It's one of them. It's definitely influenced my music early on. But now that I've had to compose music for different scenes and moods, I've branched out a lot. That's great. Just think, someday a group of kids will be talking like this, and one of them will mention how Mad Chemistry OSTs is their favorite. Ha ha ha. I'm serious, some silly illogical writer will be there. Excuse me. And he'll be like, this is my first original story. Before, all I wrote was fan fiction for Mad Chemistry. And then there'll be artists making Mad Chemistry fan art, though of course they can't draw ca the characters as good as Yuko can. Oh stop. I'm serious here, it's going to happen. You know what? You know, you might be aiming a little too high there, Sumiko, but who knows, we'll make Mad Chemistry the best it can be. When Yukri checks her email on the weekend, she finds a request from the media. A journalist who covers anime news would like to interview her. She thinks it over and decides to, eh, fuck it, accept the offer, who knows. Anyway, I'm gonna check on the anime status real quick, see what we've got. Look at how beautiful that shit is. We've got almost everything, the only thing that needed to be done more was the character design and the background. Other than that, we've got pretty much a solid anime here. I'm actually proud of myself on this one. Maybe taking the extra time to do the several, the almost hour long episodes was actually good for me. For this one. The next day, she meets with the uh, journalist to discuss mad chemistry. She prepared possible instruction questions ahead of time, and none of the questions are too tricky. You could release the interview feeling satisfied with how it turned out. By evening, she has a few emails from people who already read the interview and are excited for mad chemistry. It's causing quite a few anime quite a, it's causing a stir on a few anime forums too. Two. It seems like Mediacom coverage was just what they needed to give Mad Chemistry a nice co boosting publicity. Alright, check on the anime status. We can do character design and background now. And then I, that'll bump us up to four stars on those, and we don't have to worry about shit after that. Character design, animation, outsource. Progress. Almost everything's done, holy shit. Member status, see if anybody needs to rest. Looks like only one who needs to rest is Shinsuke. And I'm gonna raise funds. There's only a few weeks left before the deadline for Mad Chemistry. I'm curious about what needs to be done before it'll be be ready. There's a fair amount of work we still have to do for post-production, since our production phase just ended not that long ago. Like what? To explain it in simple terms, it consists of three core components. Editing, dubbing, and the final, final quality assurance check. Dubbing? You can't possibly mean you're adding English voices for the characters. Are you guys speaking in English? Or is it because of the way... You know what, fuck it. Whatever. I'll just go with the fact that they're apparently speaking Japanese. You can't possibly mean you're adding voices for the characters. Of course not. It's too late. It's already too late to do that even if I wanted to. You're confused by the term dubbing. In the context of post-production, post dubbing means mix the audio and music tracks into the episodes of Mad Chemistry. That means we have to ensure the voice tracks are in sync with the characters' animations and the music that plays at the right time. Thank you, now I understand what you mean. So, since what you're talking- since you're talking about the post-production phase, does that mean we're done working with Inoshi Studios? Not yet, they're in charge of filming Mad Chemistry. In fact, I'm about to go there right now and pick up a, episode 1 of Mad Chemistry. Nice, I can't wait to see it. Same, I'll be back soon. Hello. It's good to see you again, Yukari. Are you here to pick up the first episode of Mad Chemistry? That's right. I'll let Takeshi know you're here. As Yukari waits for the director, she can't help but marvel at how far along Mad Chemistry has come. Sorry to keep you waiting. No need to apologize, it wasn't long. Yeah, see that? That is beauty. Dun 
That means literally almost everything five-starred on our harem playthrough. That's amazing. Here's the disc that contains episode one for Mad Chemistry. Great, when do you think episode two will be ready? It should be finished soon, most likely next week, depending on when we get the remaining animations. I'll keep you updated. Thank you. She turns to leave with the disc, but pauses to look back at the director. I'm thinking of holding a small celebration once Mad Chemistry airs. Would you and the members of Inashi Studios be interested in joining us? It would be great to have everyone who contributed to Mad Chemistry come. I'd love to attend, and I'm pretty sure my coworkers would too, but I'm afraid we're currently swamped with work. Sorry, we have to decline your invitation. Okay, I understand. It's a pity, though. Perhaps we'll make it after your next anime. Haha, <laughs> I hope that day comes. Well, if there's nothing else, I'll head back to my studio. I'll be in touch to let you know when episode 2 is ready. Great, see you later. Goodbye. Here it is. Episode 1. Yep. What? Where? I want to see it. Me too. I'm nervous about how it'll be. Give me a minute to set it up, then we can all watch it together. She puts a disc into her computer and everyone gathers around to watch the video. Everyone watches with excitement and anticipation as the episode begins. After all, this is the result of their hard work over the past few months. Okay. I actually would love to know how to screenshot. Um, I think it's F2, but every... Is it F2? Oops, nope. That just darkened my screen. Sorry about that, guys. I thought it was F12 or F11 or something to screenshot, but I guess I'm wrong. Either that or I'm pressing the wrong button, but then again, this is on a laptop, so the F buttons are a little weird. Ooh, it looks so good. You could, you did a fantastic job. I'm just the director. Everyone here at, at Inoshi Studios helped make this possible. The animation looks smooth. That's a relief. It feels really weird watching an anime and seeing backgrounds I designed, but it's a good feeling. It's so surreal. Just wait until it's on TV. Oh man, that! That will be surreal. Look, Yuko, it's your characters. Yeah, yes. Something wrong? I just look at my own war art and wonder if it's really good enough. What are you talking about? Look at it, it's great! Well, she's right, Yuko. Your art looks fine. If you all think so, then... Okay, I accept it. Now that that's settled, shh, let's watch. They watch in silence until the video reaches its end. Well, what did you think? It looks great. I love how sciencey everything is. Is this a subtle way to praise your own backgrounds? Hey, I mean it. Everything really came together in the right way to create the right atmosphere. Well, I can't argue there. I agree, and it seems so much fun, too. Just wait until the audio is added, then Mad Chemistry will be really great. I can't wait. The music and sound for Mad Chemistry is almost complete. The audio mastering shouldn't take too long since we're storing it digitally. That's great. I have good news too. Our website is coming along well. It should be finished before the end of the week. Awesome, let me know when it's ready. As they return to their desks, Yukiri checks on Sumiko and Yuko. They're hard at work painting the final animation frames for episode 2. Something wrong? No, I just wanted to know how things are going. Great! Yes, everything should be finished soon. I'm glad to hear it. Back at her own desk, Yukari begins to compile all of their assets for Mad Chemistry. Need a hand? Sure, if you have time. Just a minute. Is it the investor? Oh, it's one of Sumika's friends. Okay. She stepped away from one of the desk so she can answer the phone without disturbing anyone. The caller is one of Sumika's friends and she braces herself. Any unexpected call could mean bad news. However, the news is good for a change. They've finished all of their tasks. Good work. I'll drop by on Thursday to collect it. By the way, we're gonna have a pet party after Mad Chemistry airs. Once she tells Sumika's friend about the party, she hangs up and returns to her desk. Something important? Our freelance animation work is complete. Another call already? Maybe they forgot something. But you could eat... Yep. When Yukari steps to the way to take the call, she sees it's from their primary investor this time. Hello? Hello, how's everything going with Mad Chemistry? We're now at the post-production stage. Mad Chemistry is on track to meet its deadline. Excellent. I'm calling because I have good news. Could we meet up to discuss it? Now watch it need me having to need 
money, and I've only got five bucks on the thing. Alright, same place as before? That sounds perfect. I can be there in ten minutes. Yukuri takes a moment to tell the team where she's going, and then heads to the cafe, curious about what this good news might be. When Yukuri arrives, she spots the investor seated at a table and joins him. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. Not at all. Let me get right to the point. We've managed to secure a booth for Mad Chemistry at Anime Rising. You, you did? Anime Rising has become quite a popular anime convention over the past few years, despite only lasting two days. Yukuri has attended as a guest, but never sh did she dream she'd have her own booth, especially not when the convention's only a week away. It was pretty last minute, but I think it's a great opportunity to showcase Mad Chemistry. I see. Her shock must show on her face, because the investor leans forward with a concerned look. Is everything alright? If you can't attend to the convention, that's fine. She hesitates. They already have a lot to do this week. Running a booth that Anime Rising means even more to prepare for. They'll be even busier. It'll be trickier than ever to keep things on schedule. On the other hand, many startup studios would need to fight to find such an excellent opportunity. Extra work or not, it would be unwise to turn down the offer. No, I was just surprised. Thank you so much. We'll definitely be there. In that case, I'll see you at Anime Rising. He's going too? That's interesting. I have news. I thought you might. You seem pretty distracted after that second phone call yesterday. Sorry about that. After she finished talking to their investor the previous day, she spent the rest of her time at the studio getting in touch with other investors to let them know Mad Chemistry's status, as well as looking up information about Anime Rising. That's something I would love to do, but lately I haven't had time to look at any conventions or anything near me. Like, I'd love to just go as a guest or something for a couple of days. Just you know, relax and not have to worry about anything. <sighs> so what's up? Our investor got us a booth at Anime Rising. Whoa, really? No joke? No joke. That's awesome! What's Anime Rising? It's a two-day convention held next Tuesday and Wednesday. Why don't you look happier about it, Yukari? It's a great opportunity for us. Yes, it should be a very special experience. I agree. When will I ever get a chance like this? It's a good opportunity, but did you say it starts next Tuesday? We can't go in unprepared. We don't want to fall behind on Mad Chemistry either. Exactly why I have mixed feelings about it. I'm not sure if we have enough time to keep track Mad Chemistry on track and prepare our materials for the booth. We will if we work this weekend. Unfortunately, that will be stressful. Can we handle it? Come on, have a little more faith in us. Of course we can. It's not a question of faith. It's a valid concern. We might burn ourselves out. Let me see your member status. Let's see. Only one person really needs a rest, and that's Sumiko, but she can handle at least one more work thing. Same with Mayumi. Other than that, Shunsuke, Yuko, and, Sh and Yukari can do this stuff. We've come so far already, this isn't the first time we've had to work overtime, now this we're in the final stretch. Don't worry Shunsuke, a little extra work isn't enough to stop us. Yeah! Who said that, Megumi? I was looking at the stop us thing, because that sounded like something Yuko would do. Or Sumiko would just say. I really hope this is actually the finale episode, because I'd hate to, like, say welcome to the finale and then end it like I have for the past two episodes. I thought I'd be working more on this. Oh well. Well said. We have the resolve to do this for sure. Hmm. Now I see how far we've come. What do you mean? At the beginning, something like this could have shattered us, but now, everything, everyone has the will to succeed. Don't worry, Yukari. We'll be fine. Alright then, in that case, we should get back to work. We have a lot to do and only a little time little time to do it in. Let's get let's do this. Wow, there's a promotion on the ground coffee. And even the mat even though the matcha isn't on sale, it's still being sold at a good price. I've already spent a lot of this month's pantry budget, though. It's not every day the cut Cafe has such an amazing offer. I better pick one. Now, if only you could remember if the others prefer coffee or tea. I'd say tea. It's nothing like a nice cup of tea. Oh, great. 
Mayumi and Yuko are apparently coffee drinkers, while everybody else is fucking tea. So, basically, you'd have to pick both. Woohoo, thanks, Yukari. Aw, oh, man, you bought tea, but no coffee? Yuko says nothing, but her shoulder slumps, and she sighs. Sorry, it's really hard to please everyone. It really is. Hey, everyone. You're here. Where's Mayumi? Or, not Mayumi. Where's Yukari? You're here. We were starting to worry you were sick or something. Sorry, I went to Sumiko's friends this morning to get their remaining work and take it to Anoshi Studios. Did everything go alright? Yes, I just ended up running a little late. Well, while you were gone, I had an amazing idea for the con. No. No, she didn't. We should all cosplay as the characters of Mad Chemistry. Shinsuke can be the protagonist, and the rest of us can be members of the science club. That sounds really cocky, but it actually sounds like it'd be a fun idea. No. Excuse me, I'm talking to Yukari. Well, what do you think? Haha, <laughs> let's save the cosplaying for another time. We need to appear professional. Aww. With Yukari back, everyone returns to work after a few minutes. Soon, a serious atmosphere descends over the studio. Mad Chemistry might be almost complete, but with anime rising less than a week away, they need to work extra hard. When the time comes... When the time for their usual lunch break arrives, no one gets up. Guys, it's time for lunch. Oh, is it? I thought that I'd skip work lunch today and keep working. I filled my pockets with energy bars. That sounded way too much like her. Like, I was actually expecting that one out of her. Sure enough, she pulls a handful of wrapped energy bars from each pocket. Since we have so much work to do, we shouldn't spend too much time on lunch. Maybe a shorter break than usual is in order. Yukari stares at them. Their devotion is admirable, but skipping lunch or rushing lunch isn't a good is a good way to burn is a good way for them to burn themselves out or get sick. I have an idea. How about I order us pizza? That way we can eat, eat right here in the studio and work at the same time. That's a great idea. Everyone else agrees, so Yukari quickly looks looks up the phone number of the closest pizza place and calls. Hi, I'd like to Oops. I'd like to order one large pizza with teriyaki chicken. One? That's not even two slices for everyone. Sorry, I'd like two large pizzas. Potato and mayonnaise, please. Not on mine. I'd like a triple cheese pizza with no sauce. No sauce? What kind of maniac are you? I'd like traditional atopi Italian toppings. Tomato sauce, cheese, and pepperoni. Could I have mine with onions, pepperoni, and jalapeno peppers, please? Yuko, you are a girl after my own heart. Why, don't let Yuko's toppings get near my pizza. Yukari takes a moment to try and sort out, sort through everything they just said, and takes a deep breath before returning her attention to the phone. Sorry for the delay. Okay, two large pizzas. One should be divided into three chives. Potato, mayo, triple cheese without sauce, tomato sauce, and tomato sauce with cheese and pepperoni. The other... Wait a minute, does that mean we have to split a pizza three ways, while you and Yuko get the second one? Not fair! Let's look at this logically. P pizzas are traditionally cut into eight slices. With two pizzas, that means we have 16 slices. There, there are five of us, everyone gets three slices, and there will be one extra. I'd like to order two large pizzas. That's 16 slices, right? Okay, three slices with teriyaki chicken, three with potato and mayonnaise, three with triple, tree, triple cheese and no sauce, three with tomato sauce, cheese and pepperoni, and three with onions, pepperoni, and jalapenos. Make sure they know to keep mine away from the spicy one. The potato and jalapeno orders have to be on separate pizzas. Don't forget about the extra slice. Maybe it should be on whoever's, maybe it should be whoever's order is split across pizzas. Okay, when you decide which topping to put on for both pizzas, we'd like four slices of that kind. That reminds me, I'd like my pizza to be separate from Yuko's, too. That jalapeno flavor gets into everything. Keep the tomato and cheese pe so Jesus Christ! These five would kill me! I'm actually getting confused just reading this, Jesus! How picky do you have to be? I'd like to order five small pizzas. Gather around, everyone. The time has come. Melodram 
drama from Shunsuke. This must be important. I'm ready to unveil the website for Mad Chemistry. Oh. Everyone gathers around his computer to see. Great job, Shunsuke. Well, I didn't do too much. It's a template, after all. Well, yeah, but we wouldn't have had the money to actually finish off Mad Chemistry at all. The website has basic blog format with an introduction to Mad Chemistry as the first post. Other pages describe the story and characters tell and tell viewers about the studio. It's fairly bare bones, but it contains the information for potential a potential viewer of Mad Chemistry needs. Social media icons in the corner led to Mad Chemistry's social pages. So, is this suitable? Definitely. In that case, I'm pretty much finished with my work on Mad Chemistry aside from marketing and keeping the website update. That's great to hear. What about everyone else? Yuko and I only have a little bit left to do. And I'm almost done too. I have an idea, since everyone is so close to the end, why don't we skip dinner for tonight and finish working everything up? Okay, that sounds good. That will put us in a perfect position to prepare for Anime Rising. Hey, why don't I- why don't you order pizza again, Yukari? Kidding. Good, because if we go through that again, I think we'll be blacklisted. Do you know how embarrassing it would be to be blacklisted by a pizza parlor? If anyone could do it, it would be us. Anyway, I'm on board with getting this done tonight. Great. Also, I'll be dropping by the studio over the weekend to do some of the final checks on Mad Chemistry. If anyone wants to join me, feel free. Hey guys, are you free to have a meal together this evening? Yep. Yuko and I are also free. What's the occasion? I can't tell you yet. It's a surprise. Well, let me check on our progress first. Come on, Yuko. Surely you can spare one evening. Eh, fine, fine, I'll go, okay? Let's have a good time tonight. I know, I've seen that we only had $9. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. Okay, Shunsuke, what's the big surprise? I've been secretly filming us at work for the past few weeks. Allow me to present to you our journey from week one. He sets up a, sets a laptop on the table and begins a video. It shows all of them working on various tasks for the production of Mad Chemistry. Even from the short selection, it's easy to see them become more efficient and confident as the time passes. Wow, we've come so far, it's hard to believe. That was so cool. Thank you for making that, Shinsuke. Yeah, thanks. When the weekend arrives, Yukari heads to the studio and gathers all the assets for Mad Chemistry they compiled earlier. As she sits down at her desk, the studio door opens. Hi! I thought this would be a good time to work on the promotional art, and I can finish up episode 2's filming. Sounds good. They sit down and get to work. Yukari resumes looking over the anime's finished work. With any luck, episode 2 will be completed soon. They're on pace to meet the deadline, but it will be tight. Especially since they need to prepare for Anime Rising, too. She takes a break to think about what they still need to do, and the door opens again. Shunsuke walks into the studio. Hi, Shunsuke. Anything I can do to help? Yukari casts him a grateful look. Could you print out the materials we'll need for our booth at the con? I plan to do it, but I really need to check all this stuff over. No problem. Wow, I guess the whole gang's here except for Mayumi. Guess again! She appears in the doorway and enters with a happy wave. I decided to drop by to finalize the soundtrack. Wow, I didn't expect everyone to come. It almost feels like a regular day at the studio now. I might actually buy the soundtrack, because the music's nice and calming on this. So, good work on that music person. Or music composer, director, whatever you want to call yourself. At the end of the day, she walks around to check everyone's progress. To her surprise, Yuko has already drawn a huge amount of promotional art for Mad Chemistry. It's crisp and clear, as high quality as the main arc for the anime, despite how quickly she must have made it. Is something wrong? No, I'm just impressed. Regular art is easy compared to what we've been doing. I wouldn't call it easy, but yes, it was a nice change of pace. I'm glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. On Sunday, everyone returns to the studio again. Yuko, and Yuko finishes the art and helps Junsuke prepare for their booth. Yukari checks everything they have completed so far. At the end of the day, she heaves a heavy sigh of relief, working on 
Working over on the weekend has given them a buffer. They're no longer so pressed for time. If they can keep this up, everything will work out after all. Okay, anime status. Background. Done. Anime status again. Eh, voice acting's good, so hey, member status. Check everyone out, see what needs to be done. Animation, animation, writing, and composing the music. Four dollars. Holy shit! Achievement unlocked! It's time to ship! Awesome! That sounds weird. As soon as she gets to the studio on Monday, Yukari calls up the director of Neshi Studios to check on their current status. After all, time is short, and since they'll be busy with anime rising soon, she needs to know immediately if any problems have come up. Hello? Hello, this is Yukari. Ah, Yukari, it's good to hear from you. I was going to get in touch later today. According to our current schedule, Episode 2 of Mad Chemistry will be ready by Wednesday. That's fantastic. We'll be at Anime Rising, but I can drop by after it ends to pick up the episode. Anime Rising? That sounds like a fantastic opportunity for your team. I wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Thanks. Yukari hangs up the phone. Well, we should have the ep next episode on Wednesday. Wow, that's so soon. This really is the home stretch, huh? After so much work and so much pressure to finish everything on time, it feels weird not to have a massive schedule ahead of us. I know, but it's not over yet. Anime Rising is the opportunity we have to promote chem ad chemistry to potential fans. And now, we have what looks to be a beautiful anime in my eyes. Yes, I know, voice acting is three and a half stars, but hey, you can't all be perfect, and the voice acting wasn't going to be perfect on the first go-through. Hell, plot's four stars, character development and storyboards are five stars each. Character design and background are four stars. We've almost maximized the anime status, and that is gorgeous, to be honest. We need to work as hard to prepare, if, prepare for it as we did to create the show itself. Of course, we can't lose sight of our remaining tasks for Mad Chemistry either. All the promotion in the world won't help if we don't have a finished project. Product. Talk about bringing mood down. He's right, most of the work is done, but we still need to compile all the legal files to send to our investors and the television company that will be producing Mad Company. Chemistry. Even as she says it, her stomach twists. They don't have enough time, do they? Not with anime rising and taking up the next two days. What's wrong? As the director, I should handle all of that, but I'm not sure how I can do that and still attend Anime Rising. It wouldn't be right for the director not to be at a booth. I can handle the legal documents. Really? You don't mind? Just show me what I need to do. Aw, oh, but you won't... But won't you have to skip Anime Rising then? That depends on how much work there is. I might just be late. Besides, it's much more important for the four of you to be at the booth. You're the best, Mayumi. Over the course of the afternoon, Yukari goes over to pick goes over everything with Mayumi so she'll know what to do. Mayumi picks up on it almost immediately. Yep, look through the contract, see if there's any problems or anything that you need to concern yourself with, and then negotiate, renegotiate the contract if you need to. See, I know my legal shit. Wow. Hmm? It took me a lot longer. You must be a genius, Mayumi. Haha, <laughs> I'm just better with legal matters than you are. Remember when you needed my help to reading over the contract with Inoshi Studios? Oh, right. Now that I know what I'm doing, you better prepare, bit, get to work on our anime rising pre pre preparations. Okay, let me know if you need any help. She lays Mayumi to her paperwork and walks to Sumiko and Yuko's desks to see how their work is coming along. As she approaches them, Sumiko spins around in her chair. Done. You are? Yes, the promotional art for we need for our booth are completed. Great, let's get them printed and packed up so we can take them over to the convention center. Shunsuke, give us a hand. While the sisters print materials, Yukari and Shunsuke retrieve a few boxes to carry it all in. The four of them work together to get everything neatly packed away. Phew, this is exhausting. Sumiko, all you've done is pr put promotional art into a box. So, my arms are killing me. Haha, <laughs> if you think this is tiring, you're going to love carrying it to the convention center. 
Wait, what? You expect us, expect us to carry these boxes ourselves? Um, what did you expect? Come on, hire a delivery service to transport them. A delivery service for these little boxes? They're heavy! You just don't like to carry things. To prove her point, Yuko picks up one of the box boxes and gives her sister an expectant look. See? Ugh. On the other hand, maybe Shunsuke could carry the boxes for us. Good idea. What? You're a guy. It makes sense for you to carry them since you're stronger than us. This is a suspiciously convenient time for you to announce less progressive views, Madam Director. Come on, Shunsuke. What sort of gentleman makes the ladies carry everything? It would be the chivalrous thing to do. I ship it. But... Naomi. Naomi, we're taking this stuff to the convention center. Okay. Shunsuke grabbed the boxes. She walks to the door empty-handed and Yuko follows with amusing sp And Yuko follows with an amused smile. Sh Sumiko and Shunsuke stare at each other over the boxes. Well, are you going to be a gentleman? Uh, I mean, my arms are aching, but I suppose I can endure the pain if you're unwilling to do even this tiny act of kindness. Oh, for crying out loud! He stacks the boxes and gathers them all into his arms, then joins the others at the studio door. Fine, let's go. I'm so excited! Hey, look at that. That's beautiful attention to detail, and that looks like a hentai p promotional piz poster. That looks like some weird Fire Emblem Pokemon bullshit over here. And that actually looks like a Fire Emblem character, not even going to lie, the thing right behind Shunsuke. Me too. I'm a little nervous, though. I've never done anything like this before. Neither have I, but we'll be fine. Don't worry too much about it. I'll try not to. Well, let's get set up. We've been given a spot over here for our booth. Follow me. Shunsuke retrieves the boxes from a locker where they put them the previous evening. While the sisters help Yukari carry a table to their assigned spot in the convention prop center. Several other participants are also setting up with a few booths already in place. Now that I think about this, about it. This poster of ours is amazing. You really think so? Definitely. It showcases mad chemistry perfectly, and I think it will catch a lot of attention. Well, we'll find out soon enough. As the others unpack the materials and arrange the booth, Yukari checks in with the people in charge of Anime Rising. Everything goes smoothly, and by the time she returns, the booth is almost ready to go. Anime Rising begins in about 30 minutes. Don't worry, we'll be all set up by then. Shunsuke, can you help me pass out these flyers to the people who arrived? Alright. Each flyer contains a basic overview of Mad Chemistry and its characters, along with important information like the URL for their website. Within a few minutes, they've finished setting up the booth, and the remaining time passes slowly. But then the doors fly open. Ah, oh, look at all these people! It's a mob! The horror of attendees, however, doesn't descend upon their booth. Instead, most people run straight to the booths set up by major anime studios. The smaller studios could be invisible for all the attention they pay them. To pay to them. Maybe we should try shouting. Like they'd hear us. Excited fans rave about the merchandise being sold at the larger booths and the trailers being shown for Big Booth's latest shows. It's so loud, Yukari and her team members have to raise their voices just to hear each other. This was to be expected, though. No one's going to run into an, uh, to an unknown studio's booth right away. I would. Ugh, but we went through all this work to prepare. What if it was for nothing? Relax, it will be fine. Once they get bored, they'll start looking around at the smaller booths. booths. Okay, okay. Excuse me. See? Do you uh, know where the restrooms are? Just go out the door over there and make right at the end of the hall. Thanks. Here, take a flyer about mad chemistry. Oh, sure, thanks. Once he leaves, Sumiko throws her hands in the air with an exasperated sigh. The one visitor we get wa just wants directions. I read that people might ask questions like that, so I made sure to find the layout in advance. Layout of the building in, fan in advance. Sure, he didn't care about mad chemistry, but we gave him a flyer and he now has a positive impression of us. Ah, uh, and when he thinks about mad chemistry, he'll remember how helpful we were and be more inclined to give it a chance. Clever. Okay, but I hope some people who are actually interested show up soon. They will, don't worry. 
They wait patiently at their booth as person after person walks by without a glance. Yukuri smiles at everyone who passes anyway, determined to give Mad Chemistry a positive presence. Finally, one attendee slows down, his gaze fixes on their poster as he draws closer. Mad Chemistry. Hi. She hands him a flyer. We're a new studio, and Mad Chemistry is our debut project. It looks interesting, what's it about? Shunsuke steps in to explain the plot. While they talk, a small group of people join the first attendee. Before long, more and more people are visiting their booth. That poster is amazing, who drew it? I, I did. You're an incredible artist. That actually is kind of cute, but is it me, or does that character kind of look like Yukari? Just a bit. Under that, or she looks like Silica from fucking, um, Sword Art. You're an incredible artist. Th thank you. Hi guys, how's it going? Megumi, things just started picking up. Oh good, I'm glad I didn't miss all the excitement. She takes a stack of the flyers and joins them at the booth as more and more people stop by. Mad Chemistry, what's it about? Is this merchandise for sale? Can I take one of these? What time will Mad Chemistry air? It's a rush of questions, but a welcome one. Yukari let, lets Mayumi and Shunsuke hand out flyers while she tells people about Mad Chemistry in more detail. Although he jumps in from time to time with more specific details about the story, Sumiko and Yuko handle sales of the merchandise they, they brought. Since they didn't have much time to prepare, they didn't have time for anything special, but even the CDs and small art books proved to be a hit. Before long, the booth is packed with people. Some have questions, some want merchandise, some are just curious. Each person who leaves is one more potential fan and someone who can spread the word about Mad Chemistry to other anime rising guests. Holy crap, this is a l there is a lot of people coming. Never in my wildest dreams did I think it would be like this. I- I know. All the obstacles and bad luck along the way, it doesn't seem like it matters anymore. I agree, it was all worth it. By the end of the day, all five of them are exhausted. They pack everything up and leave the convention center without much conversation. All knowing they need to get a good night's sleep for, to be ready for the second day of Anime Rising. Everyone ready for the last day of the con? Definitely. I wonder if it'll be hectic as it was yesterday. Probably not. Unlikely. Yesterday was the primary day for Anime Rising. The main reason it's held today is as well as for people who couldn't make it then. And some people enjoy conventions enough to come both days. True, but there shouldn't be nearly as many. Well, even if it's a smaller crowd, we can still spread the word to more people. Of course. When the doors open this time, the attendees gather in small, smaller groups rather than a massive crowd. It's a decent turnout, but noticeably less than less busy than it was the day before. However, many people still stop by the booth for Mad Chemistry. Yukari tells everyone about it, Shinsuke and Mayumi pass out flyers, and Suko and Yuko sell merchandise. All of them answer questions from interested attendees. Huh? Who could be calling me now? She glances at her phone, it's the director. Probably telling them that the work's done on the second episode. Can you guys handle the booth without me for a few minutes? No problem. Yukari hurries away to a quieter section of the convention center to take the call. Hello? Hello, Yukari. I just wanted to let you know that episode 2 of Mad Chemistry is ready. Great, I'll be by later today to pick it up. Perfect, how are things going at Anime Rising? Really well, much better than I expected, in fact. A lot of people have stopped by our booth. I'm happy to hear it. I'll see you later. Does that mean they all get contracts with Anoshi Studios to be writers of their own animes and shit? Because that'd be beautiful, to be honest. Yukuri ends the call and returns to Mad Chemistry's booth, where Yuko is showing off some of the character designs to an excited group of potential fans. Anything wrong? No, just an update on her animation status. There's no time to talk about it in further detail, as more attendees arrive at the booth. Yukuri resumes the describing of the basic premise of the themes of Mad Chemistry. You seem to be attracting a fair amount of attention, that's good to see. Yes, it's been great. I apologize for not being here yesterday, something came up and I couldn't make it. Oh, that's quite alright. Sumiko leans closer to Yuko, but her whisper is loud enough for Yuko Yukari to hear. Do we know this guy? Haha, <laughs> sorry everyone, this is our investor. It's nice to finally meet all of you. Well, I better move on. I don't want to take up your time when you could be winning over more fans. Good luck. Thank you. The rest of the afternoon passes by quickly, and Anime Rising is over before they know it. They gave out an impressive amount of flyers, and told more people about mad chemistry than Yukari can count. Phew, what a day. Good work, everyone. I'd say Anime Rising was a success. 
And I have hard data to back that up. You do? I just checked our website's stats. Its traffic has increased significantly over these past two days. While it could be a coincidence, it's most likely related to Anime Rising. Awesome. Our social media follows followers have also increased. I knew our preparations would pay off. Really? I don't seem... I seem to remember you saying something like, what if it was for nothing when we started out yesterday? I said, what if? I never said I believed it. None of us could guarantee success. The important thing is that it was successful. That's better. The, uh... Little knobby parts were actually, like, hurting my ear, so I had to adjust it just a tad. Yeah! To celebrate our success at Anime Rising, I think a little vacation would be nice. You've all worked so hard, so take tomorrow to relax and savor how far we've come. Woohoo! Holiday! Yeah, one day. After they take their remaining materials back to the studio, Yukari heads to Denoshi Studios to pick up episode 2. Tomorrow may be a holiday for the others, but her work isn't finished yet. It feels strange to be in the studio alone. Nevertheless, she sits down at her computer so she can check over the episodes. Huh? She looks up at the as the studio door opens. It's Mayumi. Hi! Mayumi, I said everyone could take the day off, remember? I know, but I don't mind working today. I'm so invested in mad chemistry now I won't be able to relax until it's finished. Fair point. So, what do you need help with? What? You didn't, didn't you come here with a plan? No, I wanted to help you. How did you know I'd be here? Haha, <laughs> we've been friends for so long. Did you think I wouldn't realize you planned to come in anyway? I'll just drop my coffee on myself. On my work clothes, too, because I'm wearing work pants right now. I'm that transparent? Only because I know you so well. So, what should I do? Hmm. Can you check the dubbing of Mad Chemistry? It's important to make sure all the studio... The audio is properly in sync with the animation. Poor timing and misplaced audio would d definitely disturb viewers. I just picked up episode 2 from Anoshi Studios as well, so we can finish up the final stages for that. Sure, no problem. Yukari had, had expected to handle everything herself today, but with Mayumi there, she had a choice of what to focus on. Quality Assurance Yukari goes through everything they've already finished to run another quality insurance check test. She checks it for any mistakes like errors in the art, out of sync audio, missing animations, or problems with the editing. To her relief, there is very little of it they have to fix. Good. I'm finished. Me too. This was a good day's work. Does this mean we're done? I want everyone to do a final check, but aside from that, yes, Mad Chemistry is complete. The next day, excitement fills the air. Everyone knows what it is. Okay, I know we've looked through these files a thousand times, but I'd like you all to take another look. She paces back and forth while her team members check over the files for Mad Chemistry's episodes. One by one, they, they report their satisfaction with the final product. What now, we burn it to a DVD? That's right, except I think I'll check over it my, once more myself. Are you feeling a little nervous, Yukari? Of course I am, aren't you? Yes, but there's a point you ha where you have to let it go and just trust your judgment. I know, I just want to do one more check. She runs through both episodes once more and finds nothing that needs to be changed. With a deep breath, she burns them to a DVD. Well, this is it. Mad Chemistry is done. You know, it's pretty incredible we managed to make an anime. You know what's even more amazing? That we all became such good friends. There were times where I thought we'd kill each other instead. No matter what happens with Mad Chemistry after this, I'll always consider you my best friends. I may not show my effect feelings well all the time, but I truly treasure each and every one of you. Hm. You show your feel- You show your feelings fine. It's Mr. Logical who struggles in that department. Excuse me? I'll have you know this was a fantastic, wonderful journey for me, and I also consider you my friends. We know, she's just trying to needle you. Anyway, what we really should do is thank Yukari. Her vision is what brought us all together. Aw, thanks. Haha, <laughs> yeah. You could, even though you screwed up a few times, we couldn't have done this without you. I'm not sure if I should feel complimented or insulted. It's a compliment. You're the strongest pillar of our team. 
always willing to push forward despite any obstacles. Even when you cause those obstacles. Oh, stop. Haha. <laughs> she knows her friend is just teasing her, and it makes her feel a little better than if everyone thanked her without remembering the problems they had encountered. Well, I want to thank all of you as well. Maybe I was the strongest pillar, but I couldn't have done it, uh, this on my own. It's you, your hard work and perseverance that made this possible. That's what a team does, right? And more importantly, it's what friends are for. Right. For a moment, the team stands together in silence. I guess there isn't much else for us to do today. Yep, there's no need for us to hang around the studio. But we're still meeting up for dinner, right? We wouldn't miss it for the world. There's a strange mood over their table as they gather for dinner. It's celebratory. I'm gonna check. Make sure. Good, 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 good. But they've accomplished their goal. But also said, since the days of working together on Mad Chemistry are over, and of course, no one can escape a little nervousness with Ke Mad Chemistry's premiere on the horizon. Yukari looks around the table, and a pang of sorrow strikes her. She'll miss these weekly meetings. For that matter, she'll miss seeing her friends in the studio every day, too. What's wrong, Yukari? You look like someone who just- you don't look like someone who just fulfilled her dream. Oh, I was just thinking, I'll miss all of you. Miss us? Where are you going? No, I mean, did you think you could get rid of us that easily? No, no, I just thought- I hope we can still get together some weeks for dinner. Yeah, why does this have to be the end? Yukari's heart leaps. I'd love that. And as I recall, you all promi- you all but promised me to have a chance to write a sequel with Mad Chemistry as a success. You'll have to try much harder to disband this team, Yukari. I'm glad I wouldn't disband our group for anything in the world. She looks around the table at her friends, and happiness replaces her sorrow. This may be the end of their first project, but their time together is far from over. You know, when I started this, I just wanted to direct an anime. That would be how I judge my success, whether I completed an anime or not, but now I'm happy I directed Mad Chemistry, but I'm even happier I met all of you. She pauses. Most of you. I mean, I already knew Mayumi. And? Huh? Mayumi and Nick's Yuko exchange a meaningful look while Yukari watches in confusion. And then the artist shyly clears her throat. Well, uh, we, um, met before on this- before this project, Yukari. We did? It was at school. You protected me from a group of bullies, and then we ran across town to escape them. The memory slowly returns to Yukari as she stares at Yuko in astonishment. That was you? I didn't even remember. I noticed. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't apologize, it's fine. We're friends now. That's what matters, right? I suppose. I just feel bad that I completely forgot you after that day. If it happened now, you'd remember. You've become much more of a people person than you used to be. It probably stood out in my memory more because of the impression you left on me. You were my hero who saved me without a second thought, and they left me alone after that. I can't take credit for that last part. Someone else scared them up. Straight after we ran away. What? You mean there really was a hero lurking in the shadows? I don't know about that, but I remember what I heard. After we left, the bullies were going to chase us, but someone warned them that if they ever bothered anyone again, they'd get a lot worse than a punch in the nose. Really? Who was it? No one knows, but from the rumors, it was someone terrifying. Wait, the rumors say the person was terrifying? Yeah. She leans forward, really getting into the story, and now that her memories of the event have returned. People say the leader of the group kept muttering about the person's cold, dead eyes and a maniacal smile. Wow, cold, dead eyes? Maniacal smile? Yep. Stop exaggerating the story for dramatic effect. Whoa, what's gotten into you? I just find it incredibly hard to believe that he was a sinister guy with a cold, dead eyes and a maniacal smile, that's all. Wait, how do you know it was a he? Because that... It, that is, because I guess, that's all. Wait a minute, was it you, Shinsuke? Whoa, was it? I might have said a few words to them, but I didn't have dead eyes or a maniacal anything. Haha, <laughs> wow, this is so perfect. So, Yukari, who is friends with Mayumi, who rescued my sister, and then they were secretly aided by Shinsuke, you know what that means? What? It was destiny for us to meet up again like this, right? Wrong. Huh? We met up because we all filled the rules needed for an anime studio. It had nothing to do with destiny. Oh, don't tell me you don't believe in destiny. That's not very logical. Logical schmogical, you need to lighten up. I am perfectly lighthearted, thank you very much. Your cold dead eyes say otherwise. I do not have cold dead eyes! 
You three exchanges glances with the other two as the argument ranges, rages across the table. Well, it's not like this is anything new. I wonder if they'll ever stop. Yuguri smiles and closes her eyes. She meant what she said earlier. By the end, creating mad chemistry wasn't the best part of the past few months. Creating new friendships was. In a few days, the first mad episode of Mad Chemistry will air. Then they'll finally learn what an audience th thinks of it. It could be even it could be a success. And they'll have to plan their next move, maybe even make plans for a sequel. Or it could be a flop, she'll be forced to accept that she might not be ready to direct her own anime yet. But the thought of failure no longer terrifies her. Come what may, Yukari has a group of friends, a team, that won't ever let her down. At last, the day of Mad Chemistry's premiere airs. Yukari and her team gather in the studio once again with a widescreen TV brought in special so they can watch the episode. I'm so nervous. Me, me too. Relax, everyone. It will be fine. I, I hope you're right. I brought popcorn. Popcorn? But the celebration isn't until after the episode airs. So? Nothing like a bowl of popcorn with a good anime. I hope Mad Chemistry is a good name. Stop worrying so much. But everyone is a bit nervous as time draws closer. At last it's time. Sumiko makes popcorn for everyone and they sit down in front of the TV to watch Mad Chemistry on the big screen. For Yukuri, it's exhilarating to see her months of hard work brought to life. And she can tell from the looks on their faces that the others feel the same. Still, she can't help but worry about whether or not audiences will enjoy it. The episode ends all too soon and then it's time to face the internet. Yukuri visits a popular anime site to see what people are saying about it. Well, I'm looking. Give it time. Time passes with no reactions on the site. She eventually gives up and checks on another anime site. And another. Finally, she finds people talking about it. Oh, what's wrong? She takes a deep breath and relays the, the news to the team as gently as she can. Hardly anyone watched Mad Chemistry, and those few who did were unimpressed. Reading the harsh words from the viewers hurts, but not as much as seeing how many people didn't bother to watch at all. People didn't like it? Aw, oh, what do they know? We'll get them next time. With a reception like this, Yukari doubts very much that there will be a next time. She feels as though the world is about to fall out from under her. She fulfilled her dream and made her own anime, and it was an utter failure. The sound of her phone jolts Yukari from her horrified revere, but one look at the caller's number makes her feel even worse. It's their investor. Uh, you can't just ignore the call. I know. She answers with great reluctance. Hello? Ah, from the tone of your voice, I gather you know how it went. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's understandably disappointed, but she can't focus on his words. All she can do is apologize and think over everything that happened and wondered what she could do from here. No one actually comes to the party, but that's fine since no one on the team feels like celebrating anyway. They talk a little to try and cheer each other up, but Yukari barely hears them. When it's time to leave the studio, she feels like she might burst into tears. Before you go, I'd like to apologize. Yukari. Our anime was the failure. As the director, I feel it's my responsibility. That's not true. We all share the blame. Still, you wasted months of your lives for my dream. It wasn't a waste. I'm so sorry. Keep your chin up, Yukari. It's not the end of the world. We're all still friends. They can't take that away from us. Yukari nods, but while they may be friends, she doubts they'll ever work on another anime together. She breaks the news to her grandmother the next day. Although her grandmother shares her disappointment, she reminds her that at least she learned many valuable lessons about how to manage a team and produce an anime. In the end, she encourages Yukari to learn from her mistakes and try again when she's more prepared. Yukari's greatest dream has always been to create her own an anime. Mad Chemistry failed, but that doesn't mean her dream needs to die. She isn't ready to direct her own anime yet, but someday she will be. Okay, so that was Anime Studio Simulator. I guess technically we can call that a victory because we did actually get to the release and airing it on television, which is really nice. And it was well because harem anime aren't necessarily popular. Maybe some other day I'll do like some sort of live stream thing and have you guys make the decisions for me. The only things we won't be doing is the whole going into the little studio thing. 
Like, that would be all my attempt at doing. But other than that, please leave a like if you enjoyed, comment, subscribe, whatever. And as always, have a wonderful day.